Hello my fellow YouTubians and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I actually ran a poll today on my Instagram and asked how many people actually know how to drive stick. Mm, the majority of them do. But there was also those people that said they don't. So today, as you can see by the title, we're making a tutorial on how to drive manual. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get familiar with your car's friction point on the clutch itself. Now, if you don't know, the friction point is the part of the clutch where it actually engages and starts to grab, which makes the car move forward. And my GoPro keeps fucking up. So an easy way to start learning how to get the car out of first gear, and I tell people who are learning how to do stick to do this all the time. Push your clutch all the way in. Put your car in first gear. Don't give the car any gas. Just slowly let go until you feel the car start to move forward. And as soon as you feel it start to move, push it in. Stop and do it again. Let go of the clutch slow. Feel the car move. Push the clutch all over the floor. Push the brake. So that your foot builds up some muscle memory to where your friction point actually engages. So here's how it looks moving the car with just the friction point of the clutch. No gas. No gas. The car's going to slowly, slowly start moving by itself. As long as you let the clutch out slow, it's not going to stall. It won't stall out. But practice, practice, practice when it comes to that friction point and learning it. You're going to want to repeat the exercise of learning the friction point at least 20, 30, 40, 50 times. Walk the car across the parking lot using only the friction point with no gas. It'll really, really help if you have no idea how to drive a stick. Now when it comes to braking, there's two methods you could use if you're a beginner that I recommend. You could either hold down the clutch completely to the floor, even if it's in gear, and apply the brake slowly like you would just in a regular automatic, or you could put the pushing the clutch to the floor put the car in neutral let off the clutch and you're free to brake as, as much as you'd like i know other people are going to come on here and say well you should rev match or you should engine brake but if you're a beginner you're not going to know how to rev match stick with the basics until you get everything down and then you move on to learning how to rev match learning how to heel toe which i might get into in another video but this is just for beginners this is beginner friendly it's not meant to teach those advanced techniques right here right now so after you figure out where your clutch's friction point is at then you can start adding a little bit of gas. Feel the car start moving. Slowly add some gas. Just to get the revs up a little bit. And you start moving. This is how much gas I normally give my STI when I'm taking off for a complete stop. Barely anything at all and it, the car will move. It doesn't take much. You don't want to overdo it and launch from a stop sign or from a stoplight. Or if you're in a rear wheel drive car or front wheel drive car, you don't want to do a burnout. But after you learn how to move forward and brake, which are like the main two important things is getting the car moving and learning how to stop it, we get to the fun part, which is going through gears. All right, so once you learn how to get going, going through other gears is the same thing as starting in first. You let off the gas, you push in the clutch, change your gears, let go of the clutch and add some gas. To Shifting gears sounds like a lot of steps, but I promise you, once you're moving, it's so much easier than actually listening to someone talk about it. Most people think they might struggle with it because it's the same thing as first gear, but it's actually easier because the car's already moving, so you're not gonna stall it. Another question I get asked a lot when it comes to driving stick is, when do I shift? Or how do I know when to downshift? Now you shift depending on the car, really, like the STI, if I'm driving normally, I'll shift it around mm, 3,200. It doesn't like to be shifted very low or else it starts bogging. If it starts bogging, it's because you're shifting it too low or you're not giving it enough gas or you're not giving it any gas at all. But you got to figure out what the car you're driving is comfortable shifting at. Most cars, it's around 3,000, 3,200 RPMs. All the cars I've driven, I've owned a lot of cars and out of all the cars I've driven, you could shift them all easily, 3,200 RPMs and it's nice and smooth. Okay, now as for downshifting, that depends on the car and how it's geared as well. But most cars, you'll want to downshift according to RPM and not necessarily speed. Because once you start learning a car, you'll learn when it's, 
when it's time to go down a gear, like when you're coming into a turn or something. Like if I'm approaching it, if I'm going 40 miles an hour and I'm gonna make a right turn, the light's green, I don't have to stop. I'll probably slow down to about second gear because second gear will be perfect from zero to 30 miles an hour easily. It'll be easy to figure out once you're driving the car itself and you learn when to upshift. You'll figure out when to downshift, trust me. It seems more complicated than it actually is. If I had to recommend an RPM though on when to downshift, I would say do it at around 2,000 if you're approaching a turn and you know you gotta, you gotta slow down for the turn and you're not gonna stop. All right, so let me see if I can give you guys an example of when I would downshift. See my RPM's dropping, downshift, slowly let out the clutch and the gas, and that's it. But other than that, there's not much else to it besides just to practice, practice, practice. Friction point first, then figure out how to stop the car because if you just get the friction point down and start trying to move, you might panic when it comes to stopping if you don't know what you're doing. So friction point, braking, changing gears, and then downshifting. That's the order I would do it in. I kind of had a game shark code when I was learning because I knew how to ride motorcycles and riding a motorcycle with the clutch is the same thing as driving a stick shift car. The only difference is you shift with your hand in the car, you shift with your foot on a bike, clutches with your hand on your bike and your clutches with the foot in the car only difference same concept though so since I knew how to ride a bike already jumping to an, jumping into a stick shift car wasn't that difficult for me luckily but I still did stall a couple times I'm not gonna lie that's gonna be it for this video I'm trying to keep it short and simple if you have any questions leave them down below I'll get back to you and try to help you out as best as I can and hopefully people in the comments will help you out as well so I will see you all again this weekend uh, here we go, you and I, destination, who decides, take off, crash, land, I, I don't wanna lose tonight, take a chance, let it go, will we make it, never know, I, I'm so glad I kept you, could have left you, let's make room to grow, here we go, you and I, destination, who decides, take off, crash, land, I, I don't